Another thing that uh, the black man and woman would say is, well, you know what? I ain't really celebrating. It's just a day off. It's just a day to come together yeah, with the family. Right, right. Stop being a hypocrite. Right. It's time to repent and return back to your nationality. Right. Right. America ain't getting no better for the so-called black man. Right. Right. Joe Biden is not your savior. Bring it come out. on. Bring it out. You got two options. A white man is going to call you a nigga to your face. That's right. Or a white man is gonna call you a nigga behind your back. Come on. Either way, you still a nigga to the white man. That's right. We the only race of people that 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 yeah. that would try to choose between two white men to solve our own problems. Right. Yeah. Ain't no white man solving my problems. Right. I'ma solve my problems. That's right. You know how I'ma do it? I'ma come out here. I'ma use the word of God to get you to repent. Uh -huh. Right. And I'ma get you to repent. You to repent. And you to repent. And once that happens, it's a special number that we're waiting for. Give me that in Revelation. Yes, it's a special number that we're waiting for. And when that number gets sealed with God's laws, right. with his statutes, with his commandments, and right. understand that we Jesus. are the Israelites, we up out of here, man. That's right. We are up out of here and we're going to rule this earth forever. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. Bring it up. The book that our people claim to believe in. You don't believe in the Bible. Bring it up. You ain't been introduced to the Bible. Right. The black man think the, the Bible is a white man's book. Right. The Bible condemns the white man to slavery. Right. Right. The, Bi the Bible says the white man's slavery is going to be twice as bad as ours. Right. Ain't no way there's no white man's book. The white man got to pay according to the Bible. What you got? Read. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Read. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity. For all you that believe the Bible is a white man's book. The Bible says if you led the Israelites into captivity, read. He shall go into captivity. That's That's right. Right. The Bible says you going into captivity. He you're going into captivity. That's right. But guess what? You ain't going into no regular captivity. Come on with it. it ain't going to be no average, everyday captivity. Bring it up. It's going to be a whole different kind of slavery. Yes. Keep reading. He that killeth with the sword. Come on. If you use weapons against God's chosen people, you know what's going to happen to you? Must be killed with the sword. Hey. Hey. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We talking about the saints right now. Guess what? Just because you go to church on Sunday, you ain't no saint. Mm -hmm. These are the saints right here. Bring it up. These are the saints right here. Who got Revelation 18 with the double in it? Bring it up. I need that double. The white man got to get double. He got to get, get it twice as bad as we got it. Right. Whatever we got, he getting it twice. That's, That's right. what the Bible say. Y'all ain't never introduced. Y'all ain't been introduced to the Bible. The, the black man think the Quran is his book? Muhammad was an Arab man. Bring it up. That ain't your people. That's right. That's right. Muhammad was illiterate. The word Quran means recitation. What were they reciting? The Bible. That's right. They were reciting the Bible. The Bible is your heritage. Who got the double? 18 and 6. 18 and 6. Who got the double? Revelation 18 and 6. You got it? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 6. Bring it out. Oh, we want her, even she, as she will rewarded you. The Bible says reward her. Who is the her? The her is Babylon. The her is America. America got to get a reward for the stuff they did to our people. We, we want her, even as she rewarded you. She rewarded us with what? Slavery, chains on our necks, hard bondage, servitude, we, and double, and how much? And double, unto her double. The scriptures say that they got to get double of what we got. We got whipped on our backs, they getting whipped twice. We was put in the chains, they getting double of that. We was in slavery for four to five hundred years. Guess how long they got to go in slavery? A thousand years. The Bible said a white man going into slavery for a thousand years for the stuff they did to your people. For the auction blocks that they had in Shaco Bottle. One thousand years for the white man. And guess what's going to happen after a thousand years? They're getting wiped off the face of the earth. They're getting wiped off the face of the earth. Oh, give me, you got Isaiah. Give me Obadiah. Bring it up. This is what the Bible say about the so-called white man. The Bible ain't never been a white man's book. That's right. The best he could do is, is steal it and confuse you about it. 
but he can't change it. That's right. He can't take nothing out of it. Right. He can't add nothing to it. Right. Uh -huh. What version of the Bible do we read, my brother? King James Version. And guess what? That won't no white man either. Bring it out. King James won't no white man either. Bring it out. He won't no faggot either. He look just like you. That's right. The last black ruler during the Dark Ages. What's your name, my brother? Sean. Sean. Why you think they call it the Dark Ages? Bring it out. It was ran by the Moors. By the who? The Moors, which were Jews. And what Man. color were the Moors? Black. Black. That's right. Right. That's right. Right. It was called the Dark Ages because it was ruled by dark-skinned people. That's, That's right. What you got? Brother got a question about is finances the black man's uh, answer? Is finances the black man's answer? The finances that God tells us to do according to the Bible. I'm going to give you an example. Matter of fact, let's hold that real quick. I got you. Isaiah 60. I, I got to deal with the white man. Read. Mm. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse. Does this work? Test, test. Not. Can y'all hear me? I think it's not. Hey, I can yell. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. Cry aloud. And the sons of strangers. The Bible says that the sons of strangers. Who's strange to you? He is. His sons, read, shall build up thy walls. The Bible say the white man got to build up your walls. Who they used to build up the walls of Walmart in the ABC store and cons? Mm -hmm. They use you, the Mexicans, which are your people. The Hispanics, which are your people. The sons of the strangers got to build up their walls. What else they got to do? And their king. And their what? Their king. Donald Trump and Joe Biden got to build up your walls. Mm -hmm. That's why you weren't supposed to vote for either one of them. That's right. Both of them evil. Come on. Neither one of them give a damn about you. Come on. Read. Shall minister unto thee. How the white man going to minister to you? He going to come cut your grass. That's right. Your toilet get clogged up. The white man coming to do that uh -huh. for free. That's right. He ain't getting nothing for it. Mm -hmm. Did you get paid for building up his society? No. Free. For in my wrath. Huh? In my wrath. In God's wrath, what did he do to us? I smote thee. He smote us. How did we get smited? We came over here on 1619 on slave ships. They took our names from us. What's your last name? Smith. That's the name of one of the settlers. The colonizers. Read out. What's your last name? Candia, that ain't your heritage. Your last name's supposed to be Israel. That's yes, right. Because that's your forefather. You're supposed to be named after your forefather. Right. Read. Give me Isaiah 45. Read. For in my wrath, uh -huh. I smote thee. Read. But in my favor. In his what? In my favor. Who got favor from the Lord? The Israelites. That's, that's right. right. In his favor, he did what? Have I had mercy on thee? God is going to have mercy on us. Right. He's going to have mercy on us. Give me Isaiah 14. He's going to have Isaiah 14. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Give me Isaiah 14. Keep reading. I got a question. Therefore, I got you. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Our kingdom is going to be open continually. Why? They shall not be shut day nor night. Uh-huh. That they, that men. That what? That men. That all the other men may do what? May bring unto thee. Uh-huh. The forces. The wealth. Read. Of the Gentiles. All the other nations got to bring all their wealth and resources to us. Right. You're going to get to inherit that if you repent. Right. God tell you, you got to have a beard on your face as a man. That's it's right. a badge of manly dignity. Right. Don't ever shave that off again. Right. God tell you that you got to have fringes on your clothes. Don't ever come out the house without the hem of your garment looking like this. Ever again. That's what the Bible says. Right. God tell you, you got to keep the Sabbath day every single week. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's how you're going to be able to pay the white man back double of everything that he did to you. God says that he's going to have mercy on you. This is the mercy. Read that. Isaiah 14 and verse 1. What's the mercy? Let me get the light, Mike. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. God will have mercy on the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, man, woman, and child here in America and scattered to the four corners of the earth. Read. And will yet Choose Israel. He's still going to choose us. He put us away for a little time period. He giving us a hell of a hind pots whooping right now because we broke his commandments. Mm -hmm. Daddy told us what to do. We ain't do it. Mm -hmm. We getting our behind whooped Come on. right now. Come on. That's why we gunned down in the streets. Bring it out. That's why we on Section 8. Take it plain for him. That's why we the last hired and first fight. Uh -huh. 
That's why you gotta go vote for one of your slave masters to try to fix your problems. Teacher! Ain't nobody fixing your problem. Come on, it's only gonna get worse in America mm -hmm. until you repent. That's right. The only solution for your people is you. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. Repent. Keep God's law, statutes, and commandments Bring it out. in the faith of Jesus Christ. That's right. Right. Read. And set them in their own land. You're not in your homeland. Where you from? Oh, I'm from Richmond. I'm from North Side. I'm from South Side. No, you ain't. You from Jerusalem, my brother. That's right. right. You from Israel, my brother. Right. right. Read. And the strangers uh -huh. shall be joined with them. All these other nations are going to be joined to us. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Give me Ruth chapter 1. I think I want verse 8. Show them what the cleaving means. Read. And the people uh -huh. shall take them. And we shall what? Take them. We're going to take them, meaning we're going to own them. We're going to own the other nations. That's right. Go back to the cleave part. You got Ruth for me? Hurry up and get that. Right before uh, kings and all that. Read. And bring them to that place. Give me the cleave again. Read. And the people, excuse me, in their own land, uh -huh. and the strangers shall be joined with them, uh -huh. and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Is that right. verse? They're going to be your slaves, man. They're going to be your slaves. Read. And the people shall take them. Uh -huh. And, uh, and bring them to their place. We're going to bring them right back to their rightful place. You know why the other nations were created? They were created to be your servants uh -huh. from the very oh, beginning. Yeah. That's right. The only reason they're not your servants right now is because you're not keeping God's laws. Right. We, and the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them uh -huh. in the land of the Lord for servants. For what? For servants. Slaves. And handmaids. And handmaids. Go ahead, drop these up in nine, two, and one. Because the up. brother, you asked, you asked about the economics, brother. The economics is a big part of our customs and our our our, uh, our heritage. I'm gonna give you the most basic part. Remember, what what did we just go over? The Sabbath day, right? I'm gonna show you something. Zephaniah two and one. Zephaniah chapter two, verse one. Uh -huh. yeah. Gather yourselves together. The Bible tells us as so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Now, I ain't forget your question. The Bible tells us to gather ourselves together. Read. Yay. Gather together. Uh -huh. Oh, nation not desired. Oh, nation not desired. Who is the least desired nation on the face of this earth? Black people. But the Bible tells us to gather together, not be individuals. The whole thought process of being an individual, that came from him. That didn't come from your God. That didn't come from your forefathers. That didn't come from your heritage. Right. You can't just do you, man. Right. I can't just do me. Come on. It got to be us. The scriptures say gather together. We came over here the exact same way. Jeez. The exact same slave ships. The difference between me and you is one pit stop to another. Come on. One slave master or another. That's why your last name different than mine. But the, the Bible tells us we have the same last name. Right. That's right. We come from the same tribe. Right. You one of my brothers. That's what the scriptures say. So if you step on my boot, I'm going to be all good. I'm going to clean it up. We ain't about to fight over that. The scriptures tell me to love you like I love myself. So guess what? If you marry, I ain't dealing with your woman. I ain't Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's, that's hatred, brother. That thought process is hatred toward my own people. We got to repent from all of that. Talk to you got what? Yes. Well. What are you doing? What's what? Nah. Go ahead. Oh, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're dealing with the money. Yeah. The book of Tobit, chapter 4 and verse 21. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor, for thou hast much wealth. So the, the economics, what is the economics? That's not what I want to go into. I just want to go into the Sabbath real quick. I just want to go into the Sabbath real quick. Give me give me the buying and selling on the Sabbath. What's, what's the biggest day for all the sales? Black Friday. Black Friday. Well, just on a weekly basis, what's the biggest day for all the shopping? The weekend. The weekend? Huh? Saturday. Saturday. Saturday is the biggest day. But you, you know who the biggest consumers are? In America, black people. What does God tell you about that biggest day of commerce that happens in Babylon? God gives you economics on how to rebuild your own people. Read it again. Read. 
Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. This, this is the, the economics of the so-called black man, which is the Israelite according to the Bible. Read. And if the people of the land, of this land right here in America, this is a law we can apply right here in America to reclaim our economics. Read. Bring where or any victuals. They got stores that's open. They got things that they selling. They selling things and we're consuming them at an astronomical rate that God told us we were never supposed to even touch. Read. On the Sabbath day, on Saturday, from Friday sundown until Saturday sundown, That's what's right. the Bible say? To sell uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them. This is how we gather together in group economics. By one simple commandment keep the sabbath day holy right. we shut america down That's if right. we keep the sabbath day holy uh -huh. we shut richmond down if we keep the sabbath day holy right. i'm gonna give you another law what what's one of the cheapest meats that our people love to eat huh huh mm -hmm. pork right what does the bible say we're gonna keep it real simple man drop all that stuff leviticus 11. this is what the bible says about group economics we can deal with economics we can deal with history. We can deal with prophecy. The Bible deals with all of that. Read Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine. The what? The swine. What is another word for swine, my brothers? Pigs. Pork. Read. Though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. The Bible says there's three categories. I'm sorry, three criteria that any land animal must meet if you're going to be able to buy it, to cook it, to eat it. Three criteria. The Bible says that the pig meets two criteria. So since it doesn't meet all three, what does that mean for us? We shouldn't what? We shouldn't eat it. No pork bacon. No pork chop. What else? What, what else is pork? What else is? I can't even uh, No pig yeah, feed. No ham. Pepperoni. No pepperoni pizza. No sausage pizza. No meat lovers pizza. No more all of that. Read. He is unclean to you. The pig is unclean to you, my brother from the tribe of Judah. You, my brother, Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. The Bible tells us of their flesh we cannot eat of it. Group economics right there, my brother. The simplicity that's in Christ. That's what we've been going over today. How simple it is to take this earth back. We had it for 80 years. And all we had it for was for 80 years. But when we get it back, we're going to have it forever. We're going to have it forever. But you must repent. Get Somebody give me Matthew 4. Somebody give me Matthew 4. There's only one way for you to rule this earth forever. Read. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. Do what? Repent. What's your name, bro? D. What's your name, bro? Xavier. Xavier. D and Xavier. These scriptures are talking about you. Christ came on this earth, and the message that he taught is the same thing that we teach. You, you got to repent, bro. You got to repent from your life of sin. You got to repent from your life of sin. Y'all my brothers, but I know y'all in sin right now because you don't got your fringes on. This is your light that's supposed to be shining that's telling me I done repented for my sins. I'm back. We back, baby. We back. We about to take this planet over. We ain't doing it by voting for a slave master or another, bro. We ain't doing that. Read. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand for you and for you. But you got to do something to get it. You can't walk into God's kingdom with, with pork on your breath. No fringes on your clothes. When Christ come back, everybody that's not clothed right got to die. If you ain't got fringes on, you got to die. That beard y'all got right there, that's a mighty thing. Somebody somebody give him, give him the law. Yeah, well, we're going to keep that. We're going to that next. Matthew 19. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. Christ is the good master. They came to him while he was teaching on the street, just like we teaching on the street. And they said, good master, read. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? D, don't you want to rule this planet, bro? It's other planets, brother, we got to rule one day after we outgrow this one. 
You can't get it if you don't repent. Xavier, do you want to rule? We in hell right now. The scriptures say we in hell right now. Hell is the condition that we in. Joe Biden is in heaven right now. Donald Trump is in heaven right now. Why? Because they ruling your black ass. And your black ass and my black ass. Because we wanted to disobey our God. That's why we in hell. But we can we can take them from their place and put them back in their rightful place right. by doing one simple thing that's right. god's commandments that's, that's, that's it right. that's the cheat code that's the cheat code read and he said unto him uh -huh. why callest thou me good read. there is none good but one uh -huh. that is god uh -huh. but if thou will enter into life this ain't life that we live in right now that's right. Bring it that's up. Right. we gotta enter into life this ain't life that we live in right, right. now right. Going to the ABC store, getting some Hennessy. This ain't life right now. Yep. Having sex with a whole bunch of different women. Those, those, that's another man's daughter you defiling. Come on you got, you got kids? You got kids? You got a little girl? I got little girls, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want my little girls to get holed out by some nigga. Come on. Right. I want to give my daughter away to a righteous man so she can be a wife to him and she can, and he can be a husband to her. Yeah. That's right. Right. So what, what do I got to do with another man's daughter? I got to treat that man's daughter the same way I want my daughter to be treated. Right. But for some reason, we glorify destroying our own houses, Bring it out. our own families, our own neighborhoods. Right. Stop having sex with all these women. That's an that's a, that's a instrument that was given inside of the covenant of marriage. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be married first before you enter into a woman like that. That's right. right. And when you don't, you're just making a whore out of her. Right. That's somebody's daughter of your own people, of your own tribe, of your own nation, bro. You mm -hmm. got to repent from that. Right. Christ said, if you will enter into life, because we're not living life right now. We're in hell right now. If you will enter into life, what do you got to do? Keep the commandments. Right. Keep God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth